Let me give you a question, right? Yes. Okay. What are some hurdles that you see, you know, people facing when it comes to marketing? Right? What are like, how should they go about thinking about it? I think one of the biggest things is that people don't think of marketing as a whole. They think about it as in, you know, very specific activities or projects. So you might be doing paid campaigns, social ads. You might be doing some blogging. You might be doing some marketing animation. But you shouldn't think about marketing as, oh, we're doing PPC on Google and that's our marketing. You should never think about marketing as one aspect. Marketing is the whole of how you promote your business. So think about how you're promoting your business on social channels. Uh, it's your content strategy. What is it for your business? What is your brand message? How are you standing out as a thought leader in your industry? What are you doing with your leads? Are you nurturing them? Are you, do you have marketing animation? Do you have a follow through? Do you have a sales process that nurtures right. incoming That's leads? That's a big one. If you don't have a so, solid sales process, no matter how many leads you produce, Right, they're gonna go on the wayside and exactly. no one's gonna follow up with them. Exactly, so a lot of times when I think of marketing, it's like, oh, we're doing this one thing in marketing and, and you think that's gonna fuel all of your marketing, but it's or not. Or your whole business. Exactly, so you have to think about marketing is there's so many aspects of marketing. If your content's not good, then you're not doing a good job at marketing. If you don't have a good way of attracting customers, getting leads, obviously that's, that's a problem in marketing. Even if you get leads and you can't handle those leads and, and nurture them like they're supposed to, you also have a marketing problem. Right. So ultimately, you know, you shouldn't think about marketing as we're doing one activity, but what are all the activities that impact your business and how are you doing in all of them? I agree. Couldn't agree with you more. So if your marketing is not working, you're going to have to take a look at the whole. Correct. I would say if you imagine, you know, an old school funnel, look at the top. What are you doing at the top? What are you doing at the middle? What happens when they actually say, hey, I'm ready, I want to purchase, you know, is, does it go through a, a process that can be repeated over and over? Right. And, right, have you worked on that process? And also remember, you can't exclude certain channels out of your marketing. You can't say, well, we don't do any paid because we don't right. want to. Right, paid doesn't work for my industry. Exactly, or oh, well, social media is not for us. Uh, don't think of it that way because your customers are going there, whether you can directly measure it and know it or not, they're still going to be able to look at you know, how well do you stand out in the industry, are your social channels up to date, is your website up to date, is your content up to date. So you shouldn't think about, you know, oh well, you know, we only need to do paid or we only need to do SEO, we only need to do content, we only need to do something. No, you have to do everything to really even, have a marketing even plan. If historically you've only done one thing. Thing, that doesn't mean that's the only way to go about it. Correct. And even I mean, also think about traditional channels too. So remember, okay, just because you're doing a multi-touch digital campaign doesn't mean that introducing a print campaign, you know, direct mail campaign is not a good idea. Right. I agree. Wow. That's that's powerful. Again, that's when you do an audit is when you realize all these things. Sort of the personalities of the people that work behind the scenes, um, how the companies have been over the years. You don't have to, you know, dictate your future marketing based on how you've done it before. You should do it based on what it is today and how consumers are buying, Correct. and and right, and how buyers are buying, and and how you may or may not be doing all the things, and looking at it, and maybe looking at what what's been working, and continue that, and try everything else that you haven't tried before. Yeah. Cool.